Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. I want this video to be nice and relaxed, and I just want to chat with you about why I wanted to start this mixed media sketchbook. And I want to talk about things going on in my life and my upcoming plans for the future of this channel and the drawings I want to work on. So while I'm talking, I'm gonna have a time lapse showing the first page of the sketchbook with the different drawings and paintings I worked on. And I really hope you enjoy this. So. Um, I've wanted to try this sketchbook for such a long time, and I don't know why I didn't start sooner. I love working with new art supplies, uh, I love trying out, testing different materials and supplies, and it's something that I always, I always look forward to and I feel like I learn a lot from. It's, uh, I think it's really important to try new art supplies when you can, uh, getting out of your comfort zone. So while working on all these different experimental drawings and paintings, I want to make sure I put them all in one place, in this sketchbook. It's a De La Rowney mixed media sketchbook, and it has 250 GSM paper. Uh, mixed media paper is awesome because it's much thicker, and I shouldn't need to worry too much about issues like the ink bleeding through to the next page, or watercolour paint buckling the paper. Now, I often have to worry about those kind of things in other sketchbooks that aren't mixed media like this. And, uh, and so it's, it's such a massive relief when you don't have to think about that while you're trying out new art supplies that you don't have much experience with. So it's, it's really great for that. Um, and I've actually used De La Rowney sketchbooks in the past. I, I like to use their toned tan sketchbooks for my Inktober drawings each year, and they've been amazing for that. So I have faith that this sketchbook will be awesome too. Um, and I actually had a sketchbook last year uh, but it was mainly used for planning larger drawings, and I was just working on planning sketches and that kind of thing. Uh, but with this one, my main goal will be to push myself to try lots of different new art supplies that I've never tried before, and I also want to try out different drawing techniques, alongside also challenging myself with drawing fundamentals that I continue to struggle with. Uh, I think it will be so important for that as well and I just really look forward to just getting out of my comfort zone in all these different areas. So as I mentioned, in this video I'm working on the first page of the sketchbook, and there's always a sense of pressure when you're starting a sketchbook and you're working on that first page, and you want to make sure it looks good. <laughs> um, and in this case, I specifically and on purpose chose not to put any pressure on myself in terms of what I was going to draw, uh, the art supplies I used, and I definitely didn't have a time limit. I thought, as it's the first page, I really didn't want to add any crazy challenges to the mix. I just wanted to make sure I used a bunch of different supplies across the page. Um, I started off with some Faber-Castell erasable coloured pencils, and I was sketching with them instead of using graphite like I usually would. Uh, I was really interested in seeing um, what it was like to sketch with coloured pencils, and how that would affect the end result once I added some layers of colours on top with um, either markers or paints. Then I also tried out some watercolours on this paper. Uh, I, I used watercolours quite a lot last year, and gained a bit more confidence with them. Uh, but I still have so much more to learn, and I would love to learn some new techniques with them. It'd be really fun, and I'm sure I will through the sketchbook. Then in amongst everything, I was trying out a few different multi-liners, and a white ink pen, and also a Pentel brush pen. I think brush pens are amazing. I find them so much fun to use, but they're so difficult. Um, I, it's one of those things where if you take that bit of extra time, and you create some clean line work with a brush pen, it's such a rewarding feeling. Um, I love browsing uh, comic artist work and seeing YouTube videos, seeing how skilled and patient they are with brush pens. I, I honestly find it astounding, <laughs> and I would love to try and improve with them. Uh, maybe try some different styles of brush pens, some different colours. Uh, that could be a fun project in the sketchbook as well. I also felt that it was important for me to try out Copic markers on this first page, to see if the Copic ink would bleed through and potentially affect the next page. Um, the, the ink did bleed through, but that was my fault. Um, I used too much of the black ink, but it didn't affect the next page. It only went through this one, so that was a huge relief. <laughs> um, so I definitely can use Copic markers going forward, which is such a nice feeling. Um, then after that, I used some acrylic paint, 
And I haven't worked on any acrylic paintings for a really, really long time. Uh, I started this channel with acrylic paintings. Uh, they were much larger than these pages and the paintings took anywhere up to maybe three, four weeks. Um, so I, I would love to work on some smaller acrylic paintings. And again, this sketchbook is the perfect place for that. In terms of my goals with the sketchbook, I think overall, it's just going to be a great opportunity for me to work on smaller projects with different drawing and painting techniques and ideas. Um, I, I love to work on the larger drawings like the fan art and the fantasy drawings. Some of those I spend up to 10, maybe 20 hours on, and I love working on those, so I'll still continue that. But this will be a chance for me to work on smaller projects in between those drawings, using materials that I've never tried before, and I just find that really exciting, and I think I'll get a lot out of this sketchbook, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. I've been thinking about and listing the art supplies I want to try, and so far I'm thinking, well, definitely brush pens, uh, different kinds of brush pens, and maybe other kinds of pens, like fountain pens, that sort of thing. Uh, charcoal, Posca paint markers, I saw a friend using them recently, and they looked really fun. Uh, gouache, acrylic paint, oil paint, maybe different kinds of watercolours, I've seen some metallic watercolour paints, they look so awesome. And I'm just open to any ideas, and I'd love to try out some different and unusual art supplies as well. So please let me know if you have any suggestions of art supplies I should try. It would really help me out. I also wanted to take this time to talk to you about what's been going on in my life. I think it's really important for me to let you know how things are going, so you know. And I've spoken about some of it on social media. As some of you know, back in 2018, I spent quite a lot of time looking after and nursing my grandpa when he had vascular dementia. And he, after three or four months, he eventually passed away, and that was really tough. Uh, just after that, our cat, Charlie, was diagnosed with kidney failure, and he passed away as well. And I really struggled through that time. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because we've continued to have difficult times with Charlie's brother, and my other cat, Smudge. Um, he's had diabetes for four years, but it's very it's been very difficult to care for him because he has some kind of insulin resistance, like the insulin injections we give him, they, they don't have the complete desired effect. It's always been a struggle with him. And over this past year, especially, there's been so many ups and downs with his health. There's been moments where we're thinking, okay, he's finally getting back to being healthy again, but then just overnight his health completely declines and then we're back to square one. And as I said, the past year has been so difficult. And back in October of last year, they gave us the diagnosis basically saying that um, even the highest possible dose of insulin is just not having the full desired effect anymore. And it's we're kind of losing the battle with diabetes. and. Um, I, I've been giving him two insulin injections a day for the past four years and so back in October they gave the diagnosis and they also told me that he only had maybe weeks, maybe months to live and I've really struggled with that. That's really tough to hear about Smudge because he's been by my side for the past 15 years. Through lots of these drawings I've worked on, Smudge has been there and he really is my best friend. So. To hear that about him, that he doesn't have much time left, that's been really difficult. I'm, I'm really happy to say that he's still here, he's, he's amazing, he's so strong. Considering they said he only had weeks left back in October. Um, and my priority right now is just making sure he's as happy and as comfortable as possible. I'm trying my absolute best. Alongside the two insulin injections every day, I'm giving him his blood pressure pills, his kidney kidney medication to protect his kidneys with all this treatment going on. Um, but the vets are at a point now where they have ste they've stepped back and they're just leaving it to me to just let them know when it's time for Smudge to go, and that's um, that's really really tough to deal with. I just um, I can't imagine him not being by my side. Um, and I, I was talking about this with my friend recently, and I realised that with this routine that I've been sticking to for the past, well, I don't know how long now, but I realised that I haven't left the house much for the past year. It's such a weird th feeling. I didn't realise so much time had passed. Um, 
so recently I made sure to visit my friend in London a couple of times, which was so awesome. It was so nice to see some friends and just chat about everything and catch up. And uh, this actually is another reason why I think this sketchbook is exciting, because I'm I'm trying to make changes to my routine alongside caring for Smudge. He's my priority. I'm really trying to just change up things in my life right now to um, just have a healthier outlook on everything. I, I think it's important for me to just change up the art and try new fun things in the sketchbook and uh, trying to just change up my routine in terms of actually my, my daily routine as well. Thinking about my lifestyle in terms of my sleep schedule and um, I've been working out more, which is helping a lot, both in terms of mental and physical health. I'm just trying to complete more art projects and I'm trying to make sure I spend more time with friends and family. And I'm also making sure to spend time outside. I think it's so important to appreciate nature and wildlife. That's helped me out through so much in my life. And um, I want to try and share more of that with you. And that's probably going to be a part of some of my art projects in the future. Um, so I just, I just wanted to let you know about how things are going. And uh, I'm really trying to spend as much time as I can with Smudge while I can. And um, I can't wait to actually continue working on more drawings and paintings for you soon in this sketchbook. It's going to be so exciting to just try out new stuff and just change things up a bit. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you. Honestly, thank you so much. Your support has helped me through a lot. And I, I feel incredibly grateful to be a part of this community on this channel. You're all awesome. And I, I can't wait to continue creating videos for you. So as you can see on the first page of the sketchbook, I started with a portrait in the top right. Uh, I added a painting of a jellyfish with watercolors. I then added some stars in the background with a mixture of the brush pen and the white ink pen. And then at the bottom, I added a skull with the Copic markers. And finally, I painted some hibiscus flowers with the acrylic paint. And I really enjoyed this. It was it was so nice to just relax and just try out a bunch of different art supplies on the first page of the sketchbook. And I genuinely can't wait to continue just working through the sketchbook. There's so, there's so many ideas I want to try. And I would love to know what you think and if you have any suggestions for um, any ideas I should try in the sketchbook or any art challenges I should try. Uh, please let me know any ideas you have. It really does help. And if you want to see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and any likes or shares on this video are massively appreciated by me. If you want to follow and support my art progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. It truly means a lot to me and I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.